Hey, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today's going to be a quick project video. Kind of super excited to get this one done. What we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be putting the door together that's going to go on the, uh, the mill shed out here. I actually will call it more the mill locker. Uh, most of you know I built this locker back a couple months ago. It's been kind of a slow evolving project. Hasn't been real high priority. Still isn't a high priority, but it's one of those things that need to get done. Michael and I put the roof on this uh, uh, locker last weekend. I'd like to go ahead and get started on the door this weekend. What I'll be doing is building off that same kind of uh, plan that I've used on the uh, feed shed door over across the yard and of course on the uh, two doors, the double doors, that go in the shed that Michael and I built last year. What I'll do is I have a vertical running 2x4 this way. I'm going to butt joint a, uh, a horizontal 2x4 and then what we'll do is we'll lay a skin of T111 over the top of that. These doors have worked well for me. They're very stable. They don't sag. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting started on this project. I have to excuse my lighting behind me. The sun's coming in, so I've had to kind of darken it up. I know the lighting's off a little bit. The uh, rest of the video we'll work on. What we're going to do now is step outside. We're going to take a look at the uh, door on the shed that Michael and I built so you have a good idea of what the um, uh, project is going to look like. So y'all hang with us, and we're going to get started on this door in just a few minutes. Okay, let's get started by talking a little bit about the construction of these doors. Pretty simple construction. Uh, the outside is just T111 with just some strap hinges run through there and a couple of lag bolts. The actual, the actual framework on this there's nothing more than some 2x4s on these particular ones with 2x6 construction and then some gussets. All screwed together with glue down through here. We'll be using probably some liquid nails that I got at an auction recently. Very simple build. Shouldn't take us long. We'll have to fire up the mill and see if we can't get some 2x4s cut. So, y'all hang with us. Let's go ahead and get started. to have several choices of cants that I can use to make these 2x4s for the door. Now what a can is is simply a log that I've cut and cut square. Um, I had some doubts about initially cutting these, but I'm really glad that I, I cut these um, uh, logs up into cants back when I first got them because it's pretty much come out here, pick a log that you want, slice off what you need, and put it back. It's partially dried out, so it's almost perfectly ready to use even for indoor projects. So what we're going to do is, is look at the types of logs and cants that we have available. We have some pine logs sitting here on the other side of the, uh, the tractor that I was fortunate enough to have Daniel drop off, uh, but they're not cut up yet, so I think I'll wait and maybe cut them into cants later. Uh, other choices are we've got this cant right here that has a crack in it, and I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on film because of the sun being behind me, but I didn't want to wait till the sun kind of came around a little bit farther. I don't want to lose any more of the day than I have. But there's some cracks in here, and the obvious choice may be to take these and cut that, but I think I'm going to save this because this, cut, or this crack only goes back a couple of feet, and I can use this for some projects. Uh, unfortunately, the crack goes back far enough I won't be able to get nine feet out of it. I could cut up one of my full cants that I have here and cut some two by fours out here, but what I think I'll use is this one right here. This is a leftover cant where I actually made some of the siding uh, for this, um, uh, this storage locker over here. I've got some good quarter saw and lumber that I had initially thought about keeping, but I think what I'll do is I'll cut this pith out today, 
and then use my two two by fours here. So let's go ahead and load this up on the tractor and see if we can't get these uh, uh, these um, uh, two by fours cut out of here. Y'all hang with us and let's get started on the mill.
righty, that was a good morning of milling. We've got the milling all completed now. The uh, two by fours are sitting out front. Now it's time to move on to the next part of the project and see if we can't get that door frame put together. After the door frame gets together, we'll put the skin on it, probably let it dry at least overnight, and then maybe try to hang the door sometime tomorrow or uh, later on in the week. We'll have to take a look at it. Super excited about how the project's going so far. So the next thing to do is, is go up here, take some measurements of our door opening, uh, then build our frame, put a couple of gussets on it to uh, help support it, and then see if we can't uh, go ahead and put the skin on it. So let's go ahead and get started with measuring the door opening. All right, let's go ahead and take those measurements real quick. I want to take our measurements on our width at least three places, and I'm going to take the, uh, the height in two places. Let's see if we can't get that done. So that's going to be 40 inches. Another 40 inches. Forty inches. One hundred and three and a half. One hundred three and a half. So that looks like what we're going to build our frame to. Just maybe a uh, half inch in all directions under. Okay, let's start by squaring up the ends of our 2x4s that we just milled. Alright, we'll be able to take our measurements from the squared off ends on these. Alrighty, so our uh, locker door is moving right along. Let's talk about where we are now with it. Uh, remember, I went up and I measured our locker, and the uh, door space was 103 and a half by 40 inches this way. So we cut our 2 by 4s here. Uh, at 102 and a half inches to allow us a half inch on the top and the bottom and then we uh, we made our door frame uh, roughly 39 inches across to give us a half inch uh, on the sides so we can fit the door in there so right now what I've got is our horizontal and vertical pieces I put an additional horizontal piece in here because our door panel here is only eight foot long so we're going to need to add a section up here so this will be where those uh, two panels meet. And I've added our gussets. Our gussets are screwed and glued with polyurethane construction adhesive. Next thing that I'm going to do is to go ahead and add the skin to it. I laid the uh, skin, the T111 panel down, and have laid the, uh, the door um, system over the top of it. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I guess the, uh, the door structure or the, the door frame uh, have, I've laid on the top of it and I've marked out where is where square is so I can lift up put some glue here and then we'll lay down and kind of glue some screws up through the bottom here and then we uh, should be about done with this door 